Hey guys, welcome back to another item review video. Today we're looking at the Base QI micro SD card adapter for the MacBook Pro. This is for the 14 and the 16 inch. Now this is rated for USHII like 11, I don't know, 420, I don't know what this means, but I think it's for faster speeds. Take a look at that and we'll also measure the disc read and write speed as well. But it's essentially taking a bulky SD card and making it so you can use a micro SD card, slip it in here and have it sit flush in the MacBook itself. But it's pretty straightforward. Put the SD card inside, put that inside there, and there we go. So take a look at the adapter itself. Pretty small, plastic, not bad. I mean, I'm not really expecting much. This thing was about $30, $35, so as long as it works well, I'm happy. But we will see about that. And then the card I'm using for this is a SanDisk Extreme. It's an A2 card, 512 gigabytes. This is pretty fast. It should be usable for 4K footage. Just the size difference here. When you put it in a MacBook, you're essentially cutting this much length off. So we'll get the MacBook out and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so we have our MacBook right here. And just to show, normally this is what it would look like with an SD card in it. Sticks out quite a bit, but it does read, as you can see right here. Now let's go ahead and not inject properly. Now before I put this SD card in here, I want to just see the fit. I did see some reviews that this is difficult to get out, so I want to see for myself how difficult it is. So place it in there. Not really a place to pull out. But you, there's a little hook here that you can kind of hinge your finger on. If you don't have fingernails, you can probably use like a little clip to kind of just pull it down, and then from there you can pull it back. So not as difficult as people have made it sound. Let's see if it's any different with the SD card in it. Okay, so it sits flush right there. Okay. Insert it in. Let's see if it pops up, and it does. So we see right here, SD card is in here, and it is fully readable. The capacity is 511 gigabytes. Everything looks good to go. Now let's actually test the speeds. So I have the Blackmagic disk speed test here. We'll select this card, start the speed test. So it looks like it just runs it until you stop it. But essentially you have the results on the side right here. These are different encodings. What I'm focused on right now is H265 and you see the megabytes per second. And 4K, 307, 316, I'm not shooting anything above that or even that to be honest, but it's pretty fast. And I'll put it on screen what this card is supposed to be. I think it's pretty similar and it's pretty accurate. But yeah guys, that is the base QI micro SD card adapter for the MacBook Pro. Again, this is specific towards the MacBook you have. So look out for that on Amazon. But it's a really cool design and it's a nice thing. I don't know if you wanna keep it in there if you're gonna take the micro SD card in and out that much. I'm planning on keeping this in for the majority of the time I have it. And I would just recommend that when you take it out, take your time, but very happy with the fit with the placement, it just blends in. Yeah, I'm happy with the purchase. Just got it, so I can't tell you if it's gonna break. Probably not, I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, that's my recommendation. I, I recommend it, two thumbs up. If you guys like the video, drop a like. If you wanna see more content in the future, consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one, bye.